Hi, I'm Cindy with the Port Huron Recreation Department. Today we're going to do some coloring with paint and crayons on some leaves. We're going to make a resist and also a little bit of art out of our creation here. Here we go. So today I've got a bunch of leaves that I collected from our yard and various kinds. And what I did is I laid them flat and put them underneath my cutting board today. Let them sit there for a while. They're still a little damp so it's a little easy. It's easier to work with them as opposed to if they were dried out. If they were dried out I put this one out on top of the cutting board and you can see it's a little more crunchy and a little harder to kind of flatten out. And if I was to rub on this, uh, you wouldn't see, well, it would be all broken up basically. <laughs> so we're not going to use this. Um, we're going to do a project later where I would like you to start maybe even right now by collecting some leaves, some more leaves and pressing them kind of like what I did under the cutting board but leaving them to dry this time. We're going to actually use the leaves in the actual piece of art that we're making. So for right now these leaves are fresh from the yard. They're just flattened out a little bit just so that we can get a good rubbing. You can see the veins in the back of this and this one's got oh, not as many protrusions of veins but one big one there maybe we can get some of these little ripples on the side this one I thought was kind of cute because it's a heart shape we'll see this one got more leaf more uh, parts to the leaf here extensions so let's go ahead and see what we can come up with. Over the years the family has had a lot of crayons so what I did is I took our crayons that were broken um, or peeled as they become as they get used and I just separated them in colors warm colors and cool colors and then I did grays, browns, and blacks. Like that. Oh, and silver's in there too. So a few different things. But mostly that. And then I threw white in here also. That way we could find it if we were doing a white crayon rubbing. So that's what those look like. So here's my pile of crayons. And to peel them, just take a pair of scissors and carefully score one side down the length of it. You can see the cut there and you just peel that right off. So first we're going to do some colors on these rubbings. We'll put the leaf underneath with the veins facing up and we'll see if it works. This is uh, cardstock. We'll see how well it works on the cardstock. You may have to switch over to some regular paper. But I'm just going to leave that one in there for now and then start rubbing. We'll see how we do. Well, that's not bad. I'm pushing kind of firm. And you can see the leaf coming through. Just like that. There's more of it right there. And it's okay to go off the edge. And get your stem in there. Pretty neat. Okay. So I grabbed fall colors. Let's see what this little guy does. 
go a little nub something we'll take that off part of the probably a bud or something we'll put that in kind of facing this way so that we get a different angle of it some of the leaves out there are still kind of green just like that one we just had so I'll do some green on him and then yeah, his little lines are coming through. You can see them right there. I'll do a little yellow. Let's see if that shows up. A little bit. Looks a little lime green. And these crayons are going to have probably like mine. They've got little marks from other colors. So you may get a little bit of uh, little stray coloring in there. Try this little heart shape guy. There's purple. Two. So there's the little heart shape guy in there. He looks cute. All right, and then. do another bigger one and over here in a light orange and they can overlap that's okay it'll look like a collage then we'll do the other technique right inside of here too see what that looks like sometimes you gotta color off to the side and see what color you're gonna be using I think I don't think I used this one or maybe I did it's okay I'll double it up well brown in that one it might move around so you kind of got to push down on the paper see that looks kind of cool with that technique there um, so I'm gonna leave it like that now and get the white crayon because this time we'll do some resisting we'll start with a bigger leaf again another one of these guys him in there and there's the white just like this try to feel for it I can't really tell where I'm going right now but I'm sure it'll work out just fine take a peek there right in there okay So I can kind of see lines in here. Take that guy out and try this one off to the side. Ooh. Yeah, there was some color in that one. Well, that's kind of interesting. Okay. that little heart shaped one that was so cute let's try him over here And 
off the edge a little here. I can kind of cheat because I can kind of tell where this one is. Follow the silhouette of the other side. So there we go. And one more over here. I think that'd be all right. Off the edge. See how much resist we get out of this. A little more detail here. Wow. <laughs> White's really got some different colors in there. All right. That's okay, though. All right, here we go. So now we're going to get our brush wet and get it some fall colors here. Try a little bit of orange, say over here. Remember to protect your surface when you're doing this. And we'll do some over here. And then I'm going to tap this off a little and get some yellow. This yellow is running out, so I have an extra palette next to me, too. Put some of that right there, and it's good to overlap them. That way your colors kind of merge together. Get some more yellow. see anything over here yet but that's okay and then you can go around if you want other spots all right let's get red let's try red right in here see the leaf showing up there Overlap with the yellow and the orange. Okay. Let's get a little green. deeper green in there. And then over here. I'm going to stay away from the green that's right here because we've already got a lot there. Got that one leaf there. Let's get this a little, a little wetter. Spread it around more. So it's pretty watery. You can go off your edge. Let me pick that up a little more so we can spread it out. Okay. Now over here, I think we should try some orange again. I should get it wet. Looks like it's drying out. There we go. That's a nice deep orange. Get some in there. And then it's going to blend in. See, it's resisting from the colored crayons that we use, too. And this is going to blend in. Well, let's get red. There's red over here pretty wet still over here and the orange is wet so we'll go get a little more water on that there we go 
get it to move. All right, wipe that off. And if you don't like where something went there, this resist is pretty forgiving. Take your paper towel and just blot it right off because it's laying on top of the wax from the crayon. Just like that. And maybe right there. We'll see what happens with that one. Now I'm going to just take a dry brush. A little wet and move this paint together. Move it around a little bit. See what happens there. I'll add a little orange there. I think I'm happy with this. Oh, maybe a little green there. a little dry so we can add a little water there just dab it so there we go I think I'm gonna add a little yellow over here I like it when it looks a little more natural more than the bluish color so Ooh, we didn't do purple. Okay, gotta do purple. Because I saw that. <laughs> Put some right in there. This purple's a little on the blue side. This one over here might be a little more to that color. dry brush this out a little bit. There. Not there. I'm always changing my mind. Okay, much better. So there it is. Crayon resist with colors and white resist. Nice little collage there. All right, next one we're gonna do, we're gonna actually paint on the trees, or on the, excuse me, on the actual leaves themselves. Clean up this area so it's not getting in places we don't want it to. Let that dry a little bit. And get some fresh paper towel. So now, gotta leave our paper here and then we're gonna paint off to the side on the back of these leaves. First of all, let me show you something else. I kind of learned this at one point. So we can kind of make a scene here. Let's hope it turns out okay though. <laughs> Imagine these are trees. And we're going to take some rubbings. One rubbing, one big one. Try it with black, we'll see. I haven't actually done this one, so. We'll figure this one out all at once. Do that, and you always use an odd number. Let's see. Odd number of uh, items. When you're putting a something together, it, if you have two, it's too symmetrical. 
So I'm gonna just do this, cover them all up. They should be in a kind of a straight line. I'm not too worried about it because this is kind of a experiment. I'm just gonna start rubbing. I think I should stay in one spot though. That leaf looks a little bigger than it did on my, when I set it down. Maybe that's the end of it right there. All right, here's this one. That's an interesting one. And then this little guy, he might have moved. And this is the, oh, I see he's overlaid on the other one. That's okay. Get the ends. And so you can kind of see they might look like tree stumps leading all the way to the branches in the trees. And I'm just going to go outside a little bit so it looks a little more natural. There. And that kind of looks like a forest. Sort of. A few trees in a row. Okay, so now you guys probably know what to do here. You probably do, but maybe not. Okay, so I did tell you what we were going to do and I threw everything off to the side. <laughs> okay. I think I have all the leaves I had. All right, so we're going to This was that one, that was that, that was that one, that was that one, I'm pretty sure. And this was this one, that's the top. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of color on them. I'm going to start with a little yellow and let's move this over a little so you can see better. Pull it on. Put it on here. I think this might be a little too wet, but since it's yellow and I'm going to add some green to it, it should be all right because it's just going to go and blend in together. So I'm just tapping it. So the colors are kind of going together. Maybe we'll get, yeah, you can see it on the on the paper towel there. So I'm gonna just flip this over right on top of the other one, like that. And you know what, it's opposite because I had to use the same side to put my impression on the back here when I did this. You can see green there, but I'm not impressed. Let's see if we can do a little more. We'll get this a little thicker. This might do it. Get the yellow. Should have put the yellow on there first, but that's okay. So you can see this is a little wetter. Maybe it flows a little more. Let's see what it does. Pressing down again. There, that's better. So if you can see that, that's what that looks like. make sure everything's working right and electronically <laughs> okay now let's do let's do the same colors over here with this guy 
that way we can just switch the palette when we're done with one color. So we're doing green. And yellow. Wow, that didn't come off of there, but that's okay. My yellow is almost gone here. Put that on there. And so the lines are going to stay there because they're in the black resist. We're just adding on top of that the color. Hopefully it rests in there. I think it will because we didn't black it out. If we blacked it out, then uh, if this was all black, you wouldn't be able to see the color. So I think it will work pretty well. Flip this guy over. Bring it into the screen. I think it was about like that. If not, that's okay too. A little abstract is always good for you. So I'll pick it up. That's kind of pretty. That guy up there. All right. Um, let's do. pick up some warm colors now and I'll go for the yellow over here start with that guy Oops, still got green on there okay but in the trees there's all different colors while they're changing too so Kind of works. <laughs> I like that lime green. All right, we'll get orange. And I'm going back for the yellow. Let's see what that looks like. And he goes right there. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cute. Try to get a little more orange in there. Okay, and then I made a little mess here, so we're going to just wipe that up so it's dry. Do a little orange on this one. Maybe a little red this time. Maybe a little purple. Hmm. I think we'll do red. pretty purple in there. I'm not going completely everywhere, so get more in there. Okay, let's see what this does. There. So I am still using the vein side just because it looks like it's gonna maybe make some lines in it but maybe not we'll see when it dries but um we can do we can add some more to kind of to the background too that's the top of that we'll start with some purple just a little do it on the vein part. All right, wipe that off. Maybe 
a little orange in there. And I'm not mixing these. They'll probably mix a little on their own. Flip that over. Press it down. Now I can move this back over there. Okay. Lift it up. You can kind of see all that. If you want to make adjustments, you can do so. Maybe add a little of one color. Yeah, I'm always changing things up, so I know you're probably not surprised. If I add the yellow back in, a little more yellow. So I just put yellow on there, and yellow and the green will make it a little lighter, possibly. Yep, a little bit. So if you're wondering what this looks like without the black behind it. We'll just go ahead and I'll do our leaves. What color do I have? Yellow? Okay. I'll put yellow on here. And I'm not sure how good his little veins are gonna show up, but we will try it. I'll put him right here. Press it down. Now we're not gonna have the black line. Yeah. Let's try another one. Try this guy. See how his veins are. Alright, let's see what's going to happen over here. I'll put this guy down here. Oh yeah, I see the veins in that one. That looks pretty nice. Let's see, this guy, he might have some. I'll try it. Orange. Jeez. I like to muddy my stuff up here. <laughs> A little red. There's a little veins in there. You can see those. All right, we'll put this guy somewhere. He's a little purple and red, so we'll do that again. Purple and red. Purple. I like this purple. Put that in a little drier just so that we get the red in there because the purple is already pretty wet so now we should be able to see I mean we can see these lines already the little veins in there 
All right, I'll put this guy over here. Oop, a little too much. Let's see what happens if I put some over here. This will not show up. Oh yeah, there's the veins there. So just got to watch how much you're putting on the back of them. I think I'm going to call it good there. Kind of like it. So if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of grass in here. I'll show you a quick, easy way to do that. Just get your brush a little bit wet. Pick up a little bit of paint. You don't want it drippy like it is. I think I had left it with lots, lots of water in there. There, now it's a little drier. You can see it's not puddled in there. So I'm just gonna tap around. So you can see the little grassy look that it makes. Little plants all over. We can go back in with another color. So I'm going to take the green with this yellow since I'm running out. You can do this off to the side on a uh, like a plate, a glass plate or something. Plastic plate would be good. So I'm just making it a little, I'm adding this green color to make it kind of pop a little. There you go. And then you could get it really wet to where it's kind of drippy and have a green grass in the foreground. Just kind of mush it all around. Just like that. And then if you want to get really technical on this one, we don't have any blue for a sky. I like to turn it upside down that way I don't get my hands in the rest of it. So if I go upside down, I haven't used this sky blue looking color yet. Get it really wet, so when you touch this it starts spreading. Let me add just a little bit more. So. Just get in the little nooks and crannies, wherever you want them. Your brush will probably dry out a little bit. Go in for more. Keep spreading. So it's thinned out over here, you just add a little more. Just like that. You can put the little dabs in there. If you want to have sky back in there. Just like that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'll turn it right side up and here we go. There's the watercolor with resist, with black resist, and then we did leaves that we painted watercolor right on the back of them where the vein is, and we pressed them right down onto the paper to make a veined, veined leaf, made the little bushes down below the big trees. Hope you had fun like us and leave us some comments and show us your pictures. Love to see it. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you.